We are in the capital of uh, the Limpopo province. This is Bunukwadi. This is home of uh, Bunukwadi city who have already made a little bit of history for themselves by reaching this stage of the tournament for the first time ever. But they could make even more history if they can make, qualify for their first ever final of the Telcom knockout. They are up against uh, the 2012 uh, winners of this uh, trophy, Bloemfontein Celtic. With the ball over the top, and it's a uh, flag has stayed down, and a chance here for Yundu. Oh my goodness! What a chance uh, for Rugged Yundu to open the scoring. All needed was a tap in from Yundu. So great move. Good timing of that one. I, I also think TT, he hesitated a little bit. He waited for that ball because if you look at the Polokwane City player, if he had touched that ball, there was no way that uh, Ruga, Ruga Yundu would have gone there. As a result, that's the reason that he actually missed it. What a good ball it was as well from Yambonani. A big mistake there from him yeah. and very nearly punished. And now Nyundu is off the field of play. That's a great ball from Ndumiso Mabena. Could be a chance here. Now the shot, and what a save from Tingyem! That's a fantastic save from Pati Tingyem. To deny, was it Musona with a shot there? What a save from Tingyem. That was certainly goal bound. That was on target. Is it going to be Manuleke? It is Manuleke! And a great save again from Tingham. It was going in. It was on target. He got it on target. Uh, but just not enough pace to take it past. It was all about placement there. Yes. And he got that to perfection. That's a Manuleke special. We are now into that, uh, to the fourth minute now of time added on. And there is a whistle from Chris Harris. But then just to confirm the end of that after 90 minutes, it's a nil-nil. Mapena looks as if he's the man for the job, but Talan is standing off as well. Mapena plays a short one, and that's team, and he's scoring second of the yes! It's Mabaso celebrating back-to-back, -back goals in back-to-back -back games here, scored against the Platinum Stars. Look at this, this is wonderful. It's a it's moment a of it's brilliance. You're saying it's one from the training ground. It's a moment of brilliance. And Just when people thought, no, it's going to be a high ball. No, they had different plans. Fresh from uh, Bloemfontein. What do you like? Oh, and a great, and a great delivery. And a great finish. Oh, wow. It ain't over till it's over. City live to fight another day. Chris Harrison blows his whistle once, twice, and thrice. So let's confirm it for you. Though after 120 minutes, it's Bunukwan City one, Blue for the Celtic one. We are going to penalties. But Nirama Galena to keep Bunukwan uh, in the lead, and the ball moved, <laughs> moved a bit as well. Yeah, and that throws you off. Uh, now. You go to realign reset. the thinking, reset, and you don't have time. Rodney Ramakale. Oh! Told you. Skies it. Told you. Once that happens, you change your mind. That's a horror show. On. The last man you would expect to miss. Jabu Maluleke scored against Pirates. And this time it's a bad one, it's a poor one. And it's a save from Pati Tingyem. Not a good penalty at all. And this Polokwane City is lacking the penalty shootouts in this tournament, about to run out. But how far off his line was Pati Tingyem when the penalty was taken? Look where he was. Do you see where he was? Yeah. Balor and Chigoba saves. Makes one stop there. But now here, yeah, they need to keep scoring. And Bonani must score to keep Polokwane City in it. And he does so well. Ever so calm. 
So that's five penalties now for Polokwane City, and it's now three all. The limping George Chigova, he's stopped one. Can he make another save? Oh, he won't reach that one, and Santek are into the final. Yelusic, at his first attempt, makes the final of the Tank of Knockout. At his first attempt at a cup competition in South Africa, he's into the final. And it's Siwelele Samasele that can celebrate. Siwelele Samasele emerge. It's finished. Pulukwane City won. Pulukwane Zell Celtic won. Celtic win it 4-3 on penalties. Your thoughts on what we've just witnessed? Yes, as we predicted, it was a very difficult match. Uh, both teams, they competed until the end of the game. We were lucky after penalties to win, and of course we are happy. And I would like to commend our players, but uh, as well our supporters. They came a long way to support us, and it is very important for us. Your thoughts on how your boys performed today? Yeah, I think we started a little bit slow, uh, but uh, as the game uh, progresses, we gained the momentum. Uh, we started getting yeah, set up in the third half, and then uh, the first half we had four. Uh, shots at goal, two wide, two one of them. We made the brilliant save from the Sona and second half we pushed them a little bit, but they were uh, compact, we couldn't break them through the midfield. We tried to go wide, but we didn't get to where we wanted in terms of getting that ball at the, at behind them. And I think they, they were compact to save the, the extra time. They got a goal from the set piece and then from there the boys didn't give up. They kept on going until we get that equalizer. And when it comes to the penalty, uh, it's a lottery. And all the day, Bloomfield uh, got it right, and they are the winner. And then we wish them well in the cup final.